Hello, sir. Good. How are you doing, sir? Good. How are you feeling? Good. May I ask you a couple of questions? Sure. Okay. <laughs> um, from your personal knowledge and your work and experience and your training, can you explain to ladies and gentlemen this jury starting, let's say, 2012 and then come forward, the capabilities of um, capturing law enforcement within your purview, capturing um, the video of the streets of the city of Atlanta in the areas that you were just asked about? Objection, Your Honor. Case is made. I stand objection. You can rephrase it. Okay. Specifically, the areas of the Texaco, the Green Store, the McDonald's, those type of areas. Objection, Your Honor. Basis. 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 Oh, I'm on the objection. Okay. And, and tell the jurors. Well, you just talk, um, just to, to be clear, you're talking about the capacities of the video integration center over time and the amount Absolutely. of cameras decreased. Um, basically, since the inception of the program, um, the cameras have expanded exponentially. I mean, it's constantly, they're constantly installing cameras, constantly getting more citizen buy-in and constantly more integration with um, local, other local health, local governments and state and county agencies. Um, in the beginning, pretty much like I said, it was, it was pretty much city cameras and a few privately owned cameras in certain areas. But now we're talking about everything from DOT cameras, um, building cameras in certain places, government buildings, um, massive um, private places like Atlantic Station <clears throat> developments. It's, it's, it's really, really, really expanded over time. How about, if you can, if you can remember, how about starting in 2012, 13, going into 13, how expansive was the areas I've asked you about, capturing, you know, the camera system? <sighs> camera system in those areas you specifically asked for back then, it was um, kind of still in the beginning stages of it, a lot of um, pan tilt zoom cameras. Whereas pan tilt zoom cameras are pretty much designed to watch larger areas, you know, try to catch everything. And if somebody who's monitor sees something, he can pan and zoom in on what's going on. But over time, there's been a massive increase of LPRs, the license plate reader cameras. Mm -hmm. uh, and in fact, a lot of places, they're constantly studying the effectiveness of the cameras. So... A lot of times in some areas they've moved um, the pan tilt zoom cameras away because they weren't really catching what they wanted and went to LPRs because the way the you have to constantly look at the system is you have to look at the crime that's going on in a specific area. If more crime is vehicle borne, LPRs are better, but if say if you have some area, just to give an example, like down around Phillips Arena and Mercedes Benz and stuff like that, you have a lot of pedestrian traffic. Those instances, um, pan tilt zoom cameras serve you better because it's, you can use it as a force multiplier to watch what's going on without actually having that people on the ground doing it. So one person multiplies his ability to keep an eye on things. And how about, so I asked about 2012 going to 13. How about 2013, 14, and 14, 15? Because this is January 10th, 11th, 2015, right? Yes. Tell the jurors how the cameras were at that time, if you remember, if you don't remember. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much like I said, it's just been a constant growing like a child. It, you know, some starts off as an infant, and now they're a teenager getting ready to get out of high school. So you like compared to an 18-year-old to a toddler as far as growing of the system. And it started in approximately 2008, 2009, is that what you testified yeah, to? Yeah, 2000, but I remember initial meetings of it back, goes even back further. 2005? Uh, yeah, five, was... just meetings and talking and discussing. Pretty much, to give an example, a lot of the stuff is patterned after London. London is one of the most 
surveil cities in the world, and they they've been using this stuff in London for years. And you know, the powers to be got the idea that you know Atlanta International City, let's use this to help us out. Okay. And by January tenth of two thousand fifteen, were there these type of cameras throughout the city that we're talking about right now? Um, in the area that could have been gotten. I know you weren't asked to do it. Yeah, possibly. Okay. Because the thing is, though, because you're, it's one of the things I can't say whether, what the cam, where the cameras were at that time, what they were looking at, or, like we said, if the camera was even working. Okay. Now, I'd like to, um, you were asked a lot of questions. Um, about the gentleman in the, I'll just say, in the camouflage dress. Yes. God forbid was shot. You know who I'm talking about? Yes. Okay. Um, that person, do you know what time, do you have any evidence to show what time that person um, exited any building? Um, not that I remember. Okay. So that person was already on the scene around that vehicle that you identified, I think, with the help of the prosecution as an in Tahoe. Is yes. that fair to say? So yes, he was sir. on that scene the entire time. Yes, sir. All right. Mm -hmm. Do you remember how many minutes that was? Um, I couldn't say off the top of my head how many minutes. You know, he was there because the when the video starts, what's it like eight minutes or so mm -hmm. before the shooting? Okay, so at least eight minutes. Yes. All right. Now, um, I also want to show you with the help of Mr. Kokomo, with the court's permission, and I believe it is State's Exhibit Two. Um, 95Y, and that's the Texaco gas station. If I'm wrong on the exhibit, I'll get corrected, okay? All right. And if, uh, with the court's permission, can Mr. Kokomo show that parking lot, Your Honor? Thank you, sir. And I'd like to focus on what I think you've identified as a Pontiac vehicle. You know what I'm yes. talking about? Yes, sir. All right, let's just go through this. Do you know whether the um, images can be zoomed in on? Um, you, you play with the, the player. Yes, you can. Okay. Thank you. I have 292... 295Y. 295Y. Which, um, the, um, parking lot zooming in on the Pontiac. I believe that's camera 10. Thank you. Which um, if you show it, then I'll be able to. <laughs> You can get it to the Pontiac being there, that would be helpful. Your Honor, for the record, this is two, uh, stage 295Y, camera 10, according to the Honorable Doug we Douglas Weinstein, and I'll give you the um, time in one moment, Your Honor, once uh, Prosecutor Love puts it on the screen. Okay, and I think it's there. If you could come back. If you could just come back a little closer, less blurry. You can make the car come forward if that's okay. Perfect. Okay, and Your Honor, that's 1842. Um, is that the Pontiac you've been talking about? Yes, sir. All right. And um, you're certain it's a Pontiac because you know cars, you, you have a Pontiac? How do you I know? used to have a Pontiac. Okay. So that's why I'm familiar with okay. that grill on that car. You familiar with what? Uh, that's why I'm familiar with the grill, you know, kind of on that vehicle. You said the, the grill, is that true? Yeah, the grill and the lights. Okay. Pattern. Let's do this then. Can we, uh, with the state's permission and assistance, with the court's permission, of course, can you blow up the grill as much as you can without 
you're getting too distorted. I'm sorry? That's fine. All right, do me a favor. Um, on that, if you could just put it back on the screen, if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. Detective, I'd like you to, and, and if you don't want to do it, I'm not asking you to stand up, mm -hmm. but if you don't mind standing up, there should be a stick around you. If you could show the ladies and gentlemen jury the grill you're talking about. Oh. This portion. Okay, now, explain to them what you mean by in the center of the grill? Well, just the general shape of it. Okay, and then can you do me a favor? Using the pointer, can you show the ladies and gentlemen the center of that grill? Is there a, a vertical line or design in contact that you recognize? Um, no, you mean the vertical line? No, it's just the, I recognize the general shape as, as a whole. All right. Because okay. um, just, you know, just the lights and just the grill, this whole, Thing is what I recognize as being a Pontiac. Okay. And I'm, I'm, sorry. I'm not a vehicle expert, but I just used to own one. That's why I guess. Yes, you may. Mm -hmm. If you do just help me out for a second. Mm -hmm. So I'm referring to. Can you see this going up and down? Yes, right there. Okay. And that's part of the grill. Is that fair to say? Yes. All right. Now. Um, when that car, that Pontiac, leaves the scene, I want, this is, um, you know that to be a proper time, is that fair to say? Yes. How do you know it to be the proper time, the 1842? Because um, this particular system, like I said, is um, a computer-based system and it's connected to the internet. Same way as your laptop generally keeps the time. Okay. So Versus the um, system in the barbershop. It's more of it's a DVR system. It has a small battery in it to keep the time right on, you know, if the power out goes out or something like that. Problem with those systems is daylight savings, things of that nature, you constantly have to update the time. That's more human error. This human, yes, yeah, human error because most people don't know, you know, how to do that. They, once the installer installs it for them, they keep, let it keep going. Whereas this system does it automatically on its own. All right. And if we can go to, and I may need a little help here, the barbershop capturing right before the shooting occurs from the street angle. That should be state's exhibit number 292. And I have A, but I could be wrong. Could you? You have it? Oh, Mr. Kokomo said he's doing it. Thank you. He said he's doing it. Thank you, Mr. Kokomo. Thank you very much, though. And if we can um, move it almost to the time of the shooting, which is around, according to this, I know it's not the real time because we have to subtract 46 minutes, but about 8.08. Is that fair to say? Yes. Okay. And the shooting is actually what? 8.08 is about 30-something? It's some seconds in. I don't remember specifically how many seconds in, but it's around 8.08. All right. Well, if Mr. Kokomo <coughs> can go slow. And play, Your Honor, it is 8.08.30 started. Okay, and 8.08.40 I got approximately, that's when the shooting occurred, right? Okay, if Mr. Kokomo can go back to maybe 8.08.20 seconds, I'd like you to look for, was a Pontiac a lighter colored car in the Texaco gas station? Yes, it looked to be. 
I'd like to see a car before the shooting. Okay, if you stop it. He went too fast. He's too fast. If you go back, Mr. Kokomo to about 808.27. And I'm going to ask Mr. Kokomo, detective, to just stop it at 808.27 or thereabout, if that's okay. Okay, it stopped at 808.26. Mr. Kokomo, are you able to blow up and zoom in on that car? Can you blow it anymore? Is that the best you got? Yes? Okay. Um, if you can zoom out just a little bit. Can you tell if you can't, if it's just too distorted? I cannot tell <laughs> what kind of car that is. From, One more time? I can't tell you what kind of car that is just from this picture right here. Can you see if Mr. Kokomo blows it backwards? Yeah, less distortion. Can you see that the grill has lines going horizontal? Yes, I can see it right there. Okay. And that's different than the Pontiac that you showed us earlier, correct? Yes. So that's not the Pontiac, fair to say? Fair to say. And when I say the grill, can you just show the jurors? Because, you know, they have a big disadvantage. We look at this okay. stuff like 55,000 times. Okay. Can you find this portion right you see those three grills going, or not grills, lines going across? Okay, and obviously you don't want to commit what type of car it is, but it's not the Pontiac, fair to yes, say? fair to say. Is that correct? All right. Now, from here, it's approximately, and if you could zoom back out to normal um, shot, we're going to have another 12 seconds until the shooting, until what I call about 39 seconds, 40 seconds, 808. Is that true? So the shooting, what appears to be people reacting to gunfire? Yes. Okay. So I want you to count how many cars until presumably the car that's shooting the firearms, okay? Or the firearm. Okay. If you could play it, Mr. Kokomo. If it slows, that would be fine too. So you could stop it right there. If you go back, Mr. Kokomo. The at eight. 0822, he's going to play it. If you could, Mr. Kokomo. That's some sort of SUV. This is the car we just stopped on, right? Mm -hmm. Not the Pontiac. This is another car, yes. another SUV. And then this is going to be another car. And then we're getting up to the time of the shooting. Fair to say? Yes. All right. The other cars that were in sequence, they were not the Pontiac either, right? Color-wise? No. Am I correct? Well, yes. yes. Okay. All right. Um, do you remember how long it took until you see the blue lights on the timer? When I say how long it took, I'm starting with... You know, the 80841. Yeah, well, about four to five minutes or so. Okay. And then the jurors have seen it, so I'm not, I don't want to waste anyone's time. So, yeah. whatever's captured, though, you can, you can see the lights yes, you can. flashing even inside the barbershop. Fair to say? Yes, sir. Fair okay. Sir. All right. From your grabbing and preserving and memorializing these videos that you did for us, mm -hmm. and thank you for your work, if I didn't thank you. Mm -hmm. um, you don't see the gentleman that camouflaged you, God forbid, was shot after he shot. Is that true? He's off the screen that you were able to? Until they start wheeling people off in the gurneys, that's. Okay, so we don't know whether he fired a weapon or not. We just don't see him. Mm -mm. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Your Honor, may I just have one second? Yes. Thank you, sir.